in case you have no Java runtime environment installed, I'm going to show you how you can install it. Navigate down to the URL link mentioned. Click on it, and you'll be directed to the Java website. Select the Java runtime environment. Click on the download button. And select the platform that you are using. For my case, will be Windows. For myself, I always use the Windows offline installation so that you don't have to miss your internet connection. As soon as the download is ready, double click on the ESD file. Select OK and run it. At this point in time, if your firewall prompts you to allow connection, just allow it. As it prepares to install, for my case, it's already installed, so I'm just going to tell it to remove it and reinstall it. Those of us who have already Java runtime, this step of installing will not be necessary because EJS will just run on the existing runtime environment. But I'm just going to show you how you can reinstall it. Accept the license agreement and just watch the installer finish installing. Somewhere at this point in time, oops, you see it's finished already. Sometimes if the file association is wrongly associated even though Java is reinstalled, you may need to do this step. You go to Tools and select Folder Options, then you go to File Type, uh, search for the JAR extension and restore it to its default by clicking on the button Restore. Sometimes Java may fail to install, so you may need to know this piece of information. The Java is actually installed into your program files under Java, and the particular runtime environment is JRE6. Click on it and go to bin, and the Java ESC is over here. So you need this information sometimes in order for Java to be run correctly. Click and click OK. So now that you know where it's kept, you just click on Restore again. And from now onwards, your computer should be able to recognize that the file extension .jar belongs to the Java runtime environment. As you can see, now you have to select the workspace. So that EJS know where to keep all your source file. Key in the optional information such as your name and contact name. For the time being you can leave all this alone. And there you have it. Java is installed and EJS runs.